As a kid growing up in the 90s, you could say I was raised on SpaghettiOs, Capri Sun, and Super Mario World. Video games were a huge part of why my childhood felt magical, and as I've gotten older, I have wanted to do nothing more than to create those experiences for other people. But I was left with a huge, glaring question. How do I start? If you're in the same boat I was in, and you want to create your first video game, I'm here to point you in the right direction. Well, a direction. Firstly, you're not alone, and if the internet has taught us anything about game development, it's that you don't need magical qualifications, an entire team of people, or a small loan of a million dollars to become a successful indie developer. But what does being an indie developer look like? In a traditional game studio, there's a role for every facet of a game, and while it's no secret that indie game developers don't have the resources of a large company, there's one fact that remains true. Limitation breeds creativity. To get started in game development, the most important question you can ask yourself is, what type of games do I want to make? Your answer determines your first biggest decision to make as a game developer. What game engine should you use? Are you interested in creating gorgeous, intricate 3D games? Cozy 2D pixel art games? Or maybe you don't want to lock yourself down to one style. While there are lots of different game engines out there, there are two that rise above the rest, Unity and Unreal. Most of these other game engines, while they may be slightly easier to use, will usually contain some sort of paywall to unlock all of the features, and that can be really challenging to navigate as a beginner just trying to learn the ropes. Every game engine will have its quirks, setbacks, and a learning curve, so I recommend picking one and sticking with it for your first few games. If you're interested in creating gorgeous 3D games with truly spectacular graphics, Unreal is hard to beat and is responsible for awesome games like Rocket League, Hellblade, Fortnite, Kena, Bridge of Spirits, and Stray. And while I'm slightly biased, if you're interested in 2D or mobile games at all, Unity quickly becomes the obvious choice. Games like Cuphead, Ori, Firewatch, Beat Saber, Hollow Knight, and Genshin Impact were all made with Unity. And while both are great engines, if you don't know where to start or what you prefer, with Unity you have the ability to develop 2D, 3D, AR, and VR. So if you want to broaden your horizons, there's no need to learn another engine. On top of that, Unity publishes seamlessly to web, mobile, and console. Now that I've showed you the possibilities, I'm going to serve a little bit of tart reality and repeat what every game developer has said ever. Start small. Like, really small. Focus on projects that are small in scope, but that you'll actually be able to accomplish. One of the most confusing parts about game development for me when I first started learning was how to weave all of the pieces together. So now that I've launched a couple of games, I've decided to create the ultimate beginner's guide to Unity, and over the next few weeks I'll be uploading a series to help you get started with Unity and with game development. By the end of the series, you'll have a production-ready game that you can export and use as your own. In this series, we'll cover the basics of the Unity editor, programming, UI, sound design, 3D modeling, and much, much more. If that sounds like your cup of tea, click the next video in the playlist and let's get started. I'll be uploading as I go, so be sure to subscribe to see the latest updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you there.